Hey all, Ryan here from Planetary Lapidary, and welcome to another episode of Freeform Fridays, where I take rocks and fossils I find on the western shore of Lake Michigan, shine them up and make them look pretty. So this week I'm going to do something I haven't done in a, a month or two. I'm going to put some uh, fossils in muriatic acid and to melt out the stone and hopefully be left over with fossils. So I have a couple that are going to be sus, like this one, you know, this stuff is going to melt out like crazy out of here. So I'm not sure if it's going to stay together or not, but we're going to try it. This one too, it looks like it should melt out pretty good and it looks like it's pretty full. So I'm like, that's my highest hope one there, I think. And this one's got a little harder matrix, just an experiment kind of, just to see how much that burns out. This one is kind of in between. Um, it's still a little hard for me to tell what matrixes are going to melt out. You know, I can tell on this one because it's so gritty and dull and this one too um but you know gotta try them all and then i have this one which is this is the only horn um but it's a full horn right there you can see it i just want to see if any of that brown will melt off of here just so i can try to get the horn out of there so what we're going to do is put it in muriatic acid like i said but you definitely never want to do it inside your house so we're going to head out to the garage and i'll show you what we do okay so i'm outside what i got here is i have a, my bucket with I usually use about 75-25 acid to water, but I wanted to go a little slower on these, so I did about 50-50 muriatic acid and water. Um, and then I have this little basket with all these holes in it. As long as it's plastic, the acid won't affect it. So this is just an easy way to put your rocks in there, and then you can just lower it down in so you absolutely have no splashing. And kind of what we're hoping for is a lot of bubbles. Yeah, we got some bubbles going on for sure, so some of them are working. So what we'll do is we'll let that sit in there. I don't know, I'll probably watch it. I'll probably check it in like four or six hours and see how that big one's doing. Um, but I check them pretty often, especially when they're this thin, because they do get really fragile. Um, so check them, you know, every little while. You can always put them in again if you want after, you know, if you take them out and then later you decide, oh, I want to put them back in. You can always put them back in. Um, and then what we're going to do after is we're just going to fill up another bucket with water and some baking soda and then you just kind of transfer it over and the baking soda will neutralize all that acid um but we'll get to that step in a little bit here i see a lot of bubbles working the water's already getting cloudy so that's a good sign so let's give it a few hours Okay, so these have been in about four hours. So you can hear it down in there and you can see the water. It's pretty muddy. I'll give you a little sneak peek. Oh, looks like all of them are pretty much working. So we'll leave it in and we'll uh, see what they look like tomorrow, I guess. I'm just going to pull the trigger, let them go. So, all right, we'll check them in the morning. Okay, so these things have been in for about 24 hours. As you can see, the bubbles have almost entirely stopped. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a bucket of clean water and I'm going to take my baking soda here and I'm going to just put a bunch of baking soda in there, like two, two little scoopers of this. And I'm just going to take my little piece of wood and stir it up so it gets all distributed in there. And then what I'm going to do is just lift my, lift my basket up and try not to give you a sneak peek. I'm gonna let as much drain as I possibly can out of here. Get all that dirty water out. And then I'm just gonna put it right over into the other bucket. You should be able to hear eh, not too much acid neutralizing in there, but that baking soda in the water will neutralize the acid now. And here, I'll show you a little bit in here. I'll put a little bit in this bucket to show you what happens. So there you can see the acid getting neutralized. Um, so I usually keep it in, in this first one about an hour, maybe two hours, and then I will clean this, clean another bucket out and get another bucket of water and put this in another bucket of water with baking soda and then another clean, <clears throat> clean bucket of water after that before I actually take them out and look at them. So we'll, we'll let this sit for, like I said, maybe an hour or two, and then we'll get to the next step. Okay, 
Okay, so we got them all cleaned up. We got all the acid cleaned off, and this is what we ended up with. That really uh, gritty one turned out really good. It kept some post. That one's a little dirty. That one's cool. That one's cool. So I'll go over them one at a time here. So here's the horn. <clears throat> I was hoping all this brown would melt off, but nothing happened to it at all. Absolutely nothing. So I'll have to get that off with the Dremel or something. So that one was a dud for sure. Then I got this little chain, which is pretty decently patterned here on that side. A couple bigger pockets on that side. Decent little piece, tiny little one. And then I got this guy here, which has a couple bigger tubes right in the middle, kind of, like they're open. Nothing really on the back, though. If I would have left it in too much longer, it probably would have just crumbled apart. Usually those little ones do, but I was just testing that matrix on that one, so... All right, so I'll try to pick this one up. So it's very, very fragile. It left just a little bit of host left in the middle, but it does have some cool patterns for sure. It's just very, very fragile. Not much on the back side. Here, I'll just set it back down and show you the back side. So it's kind of like, you know, had that host right in the middle and then it was kind of just sketchy. So not a bad piece, but not like a premium one, I would say. And this one too, here I'm going to switch hands on this guy, try to pick this thing up. Alright, so there we got that last one, probably the best one. The edges are a little scraggly, like up here and up there, but still turned out really cool. A little bit of hose left in the middle. Flip it over. Some really cool patterns on that side too. So I think that one turned out really good. That'll be a good specimen piece for sure if I can keep it together. So I think uh, all in all, this batch wasn't too bad. Um, didn't get any real awesome ones. This one's pretty cool. This one's pretty cool. Um, the other two are kind of crumbly, so that's just what you get sometimes, you know. You never know uh, how much of that host is going to stay in or come out. So, all right, if you like this video, leave a like. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for some close-ups at the end, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.